U-Scooters has the longest proven track record in ultra lightweight electric scooters with experience spanning over six years. They now bring us the newest iteration of their most popular line, the U-Scooters GT Sport. Truthfully, their product line has been super confusing up to this point. We'll simplify things for you though. U-Scooters has sold many variants of this design over the years, but most recently, the two most interesting have been the GTSE, which stands for Smart Edition. It's the latest high performance version and the Booster V, a scooter which used to be the high performance version but now is the lighter, more affordable, and also less powerful option. The GT Sport is now here, and its mission is to retain all the benefits U-Scooters is known for while dramatically outperforming the previous models, particularly on the top speed front. There's one thing U-Scooters does really well. It's selling ultra-lightweight, high-utility scooters with the highest speed-to-weight ratio possible. In this review, we'll see whether the GT Sport maintains U-Scooters' legacy and succeeds it as the best one yet. U-Scooters' GT Sport is basically the GTSE with E2W's newest upgraded and technologically advanced sport controller. This helps the GT Sport reach top speeds of 30 miles per hour against the original SE's 23.4 miles per hour. It really can't be overemphasized how much faster this is compared to all previous models at a whopping 6.6 .6 miles per hour faster. Almost always in electric scooters and vehicles in general, brands advertise speeds and other metrics much better than what the model will actually achieve in real world performance. And this is why we at ESG put so much effort into verifying metrics with professional grade tools for the sake of consumers. In this odd case, the GT Sport actually goes two miles per hour faster than the advertised 28 miles per hour. And and we double and triple check this to be sure. The Sport brings back the same large 48 volt, 10.5 amp hour battery that we saw in the SE, retaining the title for largest battery on an ultra portable scooter in the U Scooters GT line. We're also psyched to see that they retain Bluetooth connectivity and the mobile app, which is especially handy in unlocking zero start and locking your scooter to keep younger ones in the family from riding without permission. At 30 miles per hour, this is a new record for the ultra portable category. It has dethroned former speed champion, the Fluid Mosquito at 28 miles per hour. It's also the third fastest scooter under $1,400, coming behind two heavier scooters, including the E-Move Cruiser that cruises to 30.5 miles per hour. Now, we didn't believe that the Sport would achieve such a high top speed given the manufacturer's stated top speed of 28 miles per hour. So we went out and retested it to ensure that the initial reading was not a fluke or the effect of a tailwind. We got consistent readings both times. The GT Sport achieved a range value of 13.8 miles on our ESG range test course, which is similar to former U-Scooters models, even though the GT Sport goes dramatically faster, which takes a toll on batteries. The GT Sport is not only the fastest ultra portable we've tested, but also the quickest, reaching 15 miles per hour in just five seconds flat. To put it in perspective, the Nightbot Max takes almost half a second longer. The GT Sport is one of the best hill climbers in its weight class, second only to the Unagi Model 1, and beating its predecessor, the GTSE. It climbed our test hill in 12.9 seconds compared to the Mosquito's 14.5 seconds and the GTSE's 14.4. This was also a few tenths shy of the dual motor Unagi Model 1 that reached the top in 12.5 seconds. The scooter may come with a triple braking system, but the stopping power is just okay, taking 16.4 feet to stop from 15 miles per hour, something that's good to keep in mind when riding at higher speeds. This scooter is firmly designed for city riding. Take it off-road and you'll feel its limitations, but why bother? As much as we love the utility-centered design, the 8-inch solid tires don't do much for the quality of the ride. So U-Scooters compensates for the rigid tires with front and rear spring suspension. They're quite basic, but also pretty handy in absorbing shocks from larger bumps. They, however, don't eliminate much jarring from more common cracks on the tracks and from small bumps. The handlebars are narrow and take a little getting used to at first. The only advantage here is that it's much easier to reach for the controls. The Sport is pretty accommodative of different rider heights and comes with a height adjustable stem that locks into two different positions, allowing you to choose the one that works best with your height. The deck is sort of skinny, which is ideal for portability, but this does mean you have to sacrifice on comfort. However, it's not bad in length. Therefore, while your choices of stance may be limited, at least you won't be crowded if you have larger feet. A lot of riders also tend to find a natural resting zone over the rear kick plate, but be careful with the GT Sport as the rear fender here doubles as a friction brake. Deck clearance is not the largest, so you won't be able to clear most curbs this way, but you'll still be able to clear some. But with a little practice, you can clear them this way. The icing on this sporty cake is the cruise control, whose convenience really just speaks for itself. 
Don't let the skinny frame fool you. This scooter is as robust as they come. U-Scooters really shines when it comes to the quality of their scooters. Thousands of scooters ridden over thousands of miles each with life still left in them. And we hope the GT Sport can carry on that legacy. The frame is sturdy and built to last. The rubberized deck is not as stable as grip tape, but it's easier to clean. The scooter also manages to fit the largest battery we've seen on an ultra portable scooter, mostly thanks to the energy dense premium Samsung cells. The trade-off of course is a higher price, but this was a decision that U-Scooters felt was worth the cost in the pursuit of performance and reliability. The color display could be brighter, though you can still easily read the scooter's speed while riding in bright sunlight. However, the small print and sometimes jittery ride means battery percentage is best checked while standing still. The cockpit is not cluttered with controls. You have your standard display console with four buttons, including the power button, settings, light on off, and the electronic horn. These are pretty straightforward and easy to use, but their positioning makes them hard to see while riding. The Sport also comes with separate brake controls for drum and regen brakes, so most of the time I used 100% regen braking. And if you're not big on using the P settings, the scooter has a companion app that allows you to activate zero start, monitor performance, customize units, turn on the lights, and lock the scooter. With the solid tires giving poor traction in wet conditions, we'd only recommend the scooter as a fair weather ride. But the IPX5 water resistance rating is nice to have, especially if you get caught in the occasional shower. Unlike the smaller Booster V, the GT Sport also comes with a kickstand for easy parking. The two selling points for the GT Sport are speed and ultra portability. And this is the most lightweight, a decent scooter that's worth buying can possibly get. It has some of the smallest folded dimensions. You can fold both the handlebars and the retractable stem and store it virtually anywhere. It folds easily with a one-step release latch and locks steadily to the fender. Thanks to the 29.6 pound weight, your arms won't go sore carrying it up the 50th, <coughs> sorry, fifth flight of stairs or down that last mile should you run out of juice and just don't feel like kicking it all the way home. It's also front heavy, but comes with a carrying handle located right at the balance point for easy transportation. The GT Sport comes with a high mounted headlight that could be brighter, especially considering the scooter's newfound speed. You might need to pick up an aftermarket light if you plan on riding fast at night. The the fender brake light is quite small and not too visible, but the well-positioned reflectors increase your visibility from all angles, especially at night. It incorporates a triple braking system comprising a front regenerative, rear drum, and rear friction brake, which we know many people don't actually use. And finally, the Sport comes with an effective electronic horn, though you'll need to remember which button it is because you can't see the label from the riding position. Pros include ultra portable, fastest top speed of any lightweight scooter, app connectivity, tested brand history, and scooter longevity. Cons include more about utility than aesthetics. Jittery ride, though suspension helps on larger bumps. Braking could be better. Wet surfaces traction is not great, and night visibility could be better. While you're doing your research, here are some scooters with similar price and performance. Booster V, about four pounds lighter and a tad more affordable with the same used scooter's benefits, but at the cost of speed and braking power. Unagi Model 1 E500, lower barrier to entry with Unagi's no contract monthly lease starting at $49 a month and better power and design, but for shorter range and top speed. E-Move Touring, cheaper and better ride quality, but heavier and slower. U-Scooters has a proven track record of releasing some of the most reliable ultra portable scooters, and we expected no different from the U-Scooters GT Sport. This edition is an upgrade to the already high performance GTSE, and it unlocks a frankly unbelievable new top speed that beats all other scooters in its weight class. On top of that, the scooter also packs a large brand name battery in its tiny frame for reasonable mileage and great performance. U-Scooter models are for those who prize portability and utility utility above all else and are willing to spend some money on insane speeds for the weight of the scooter. Now having tested this scooter, we can confidently say that the GT Sport definitely carries on the used scooter's legacy and is the best one yet. We put a tremendous amount of effort into everything we do, so if you enjoyed this, please honor us by subscribing, liking this video, or watching more.